In this video, I will explain how IOTA addresses are generated and how address checksums are calculated. The procedure to generate IOTA addresses is as follows. IOTA addresses are deterministically generated starting with the seed. The seed is 81 trites long. Here is an example of such a seed. I only show the first five trites and last five trites of the seed. Convert the seed, which is 81 trites long, to trits. After it is converted, it has 243 trits. This is the seed in trits. I only show the first six and the last six trits of the seed. Every address has a corresponding key index number. A key index number is an integer starting from zero. Address 0 has key index number 0, address 1 has key index number 1, etc. Here is a seed. This is address 0, which has key index number 0. This is address 1, which has key index number 1. This is address 2, which has key index number 2. The key index number always starts with integer 0 and is simply incremented in order to get the next address. The largest key index number allowed is 9 quadrillion 7 trillion 199 billion 254 million 940,991. This number. This largest key index number is the same as 2 to the power of 53 minus 1, which is the same as the JavaScript number constant max safe integer. An IOTA seed can generate in total. 9 quadrillion 7 trillion 199 billion 254 million 940,992 addresses. The decimal key index number must be converted to trits. For example, the key index number 1 converted to trits looks like 1,0,0. Next, create a subseed by adding the key index number and seed together. This is the seed in trits. I only show the first six and the last six trits. This is the key index number in trits. If you add these two values together, you get the subseed. IOTA provides three security levels, one, two, or three. A security level determines the number of rounds for hashing, which means that a single seed can have three different accounts. A different security level with the same index number means that you will get a different address. Here is an example. You start with a seed. If you use security level 1, you generate these addresses. If you use security level 2, you generate these addresses. And if you use security level 3, you generate these addresses. You will notice that the addresses are not the same for the same key index number. Please note, all generated addresses have the same length. If you select security level 1, this is its key size in trits. Security level 1 is used for low security, best for tiny IoT devices that only transact or store small amounts of value. If you select security level 2, this is its key size in trits. Security level 2 is used for standard security, best for regular people's wallets and devices that store higher amounts of value. If you select security level 3, this is its key size in trits. Security level 3 is used for full-blown quantum-proof security that conforms to national security agencies' recommendations for sensitive material, good for big value transactions, and paranoids. Client libraries such as iota.lib.js makes it possible to choose another security level. This is my simple IOTA wallet. I have created this wallet for educational purpose. Do not use this wallet in production, otherwise you will lose all your IOTAs. In this demo, I will show you the different addresses generated when you change the security level. We start with a seed. Let's copy the seed and paste the seed in this text box. Let's start with security level 1. I'm only interested in the first 10 addresses. I'm changing this field into 10. We start with key index number 0, and in total, we will generate 10 addresses. Press this button, generate addresses. 
And here are the first 10 addresses. Let's do the same, but now for security level 2. Clear the output and press the button Generate Addresses. Now change the security level to 3 and press the button Generate Addresses. As you can see, the generated addresses all have the same length, but the generated addresses are different for the same key index number. If you look at key index number 0, that's this address. This is key index number 0, has a different address, and the same applies to this address. What I have just demonstrated is that a single seed can have three different accounts. This account, this account, or this account, depending on which security level you have selected. By default, the IOTA Lite Wallet uses security level 2 and you cannot change its security level. If you created an address using security level 1 or 3, this address will not appear in the IOTA Lite Wallet using the same seed. In the next slide, a simplistic explanation is given how the subseed is hashed multiple times using the Ketchak 384 hash algorithm. The hashing is done in a wrapper class called curl. This is a simplistic overview how the address trace value is calculated. This value. Do not focus on the absorbed squeeze phases inside these curl boxes. The key is dependent on the subseed and security level. The generated key is the private key which will be used to sign the transaction. I will make a separate video about transactions. The digest is dependent on the key. And the address trace value is dependent on the digest. If you convert this value to trites, it becomes the address. The address trace value or address is the public key. This means that the address trace value is indirectly dependent on the subseed and security level. As mentioned earlier, the key index number is added to the seed to create the subseed. The seed and subseed can differ between the first first trite up to and including 12 trites as you can see over here. If someone else has exactly the last 69 trites up to and including 81 trites of your seed, they can see the balance of one or more of your addresses. The probability that someone else happens to have the same last 69 trites of your seed is very small. Here is the proof. IOTA seed with only 69 trites has 27 to the power of 69 equals 5.8 times 10 to the power of 98 possible combinations. For comparison, a Bitcoin private key with 256 bits has 2 to the power of 256 combination equals 1.15 times 2 to the power of 77 possible combinations. This means even if you have IOTA seed with only 69 trites, it has more possible combinations than a Bitcoin private key. This is Alice seed and this is Bob seed. Both seeds are almost identical. At least 69 trites of both seeds are the same. The difference lies in the second trite. Please note, the probability that this will occur in reality is very small. Using Alice's seed, I have generated the first 50 addresses using security level 2 with the checksum enabled. I have done the same with Bob seed. If you look at Alice and Bob generated addresses, you will notice that Alice will have the same addresses as Bob, starting with Alice key index number 27 and Bob key index number 0. These addresses from Alice are the same as these addresses from Bob. If you continue looking at these addresses, they match these addresses. The reason why this is, is because at least 69 trites of both seats are the same. A checksum is an additional 9 trites added to an address, which is 81 trites long, which can be used to validate the integrity and validity of the address. An address with checksum is 90 trites long, 81 trites for the address itself, and 9 trites for the checksum. For example, this address, 
this address is 90 trites long, and the last 9 trites is the checksum. The iota.api.getNewAddressAPI function makes it possible to directly return checksumed addresses. The procedure to calculate an address checksum is as follows. Start with an IOTA address, which is 81 trites long. Here's an example of an address in trites. I only show the first five trites and the last five trites of the address. Next, convert the address to trits. The address will contain 243 trits. Here's an example of an address in trits. I only show the first six trits and the last six trits. Next, the address is hashed using the Ketchak 384 hash algorithm. The address is absorbed and squeezed and a checksum is generated. The checksum size is 243 threads. Convert the address checksum, which is 233 threads long, to trites, which is 81 trites long. Here is the address checksum converted to trites. Next, get the last nine trites. Append the last nine trites to the original address. This is the original address. And these are the nine trites appended to the original address. The address including checksum has a length of 81 plus 9 is 90 trites. The IOTA light wallet always create addresses including the checksum. The addresses are always 90 trites long. The IOTA light wallet always requires receive addresses with valid checksums when making a transaction. The receive addresses must be 90 trites long. Let's do some tests with checksums. I'm logging in. Press send. This is a list with testnet addresses. This address has a valid checksum at the end. This address has no checksum at all. This address has a checksum but a wrong first character. This address has a wrong last character at the end. And this address, I have deleted the first character. Let's copy the second address with no checksum. And send one iota. Press the send it now button. As you can see, it says missing address checksum. Copy the third address. It has an error in the first character. Press the send it now button. It says incorrect address checksum. Copy the fourth address. It contains an error in the last character. Paste it in the IOTA wallet and press the send it now button. You will see the error message incorrect address checksum. Copy the last address. In the last address, the first character is deleted. Paste address. Press the send it now button. Incorrect address length. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.